I've seen this idea floating around, and given the situation we're in, I'm thinking the longer that this whole sickness situation that go, that's going around the whole world lasts, the more I think this idea makes a lot of sense. That the Suicide Squad and the Batman, both of which are scheduled to come out next year, should switch release dates. Um, and I'll explain why I think that might be a good idea um, the longer this Hollywood production shutdown goes on. Right now, James Gunn's The Suicide Squad is scheduled to come out August 6th, August 6th, 2021. And the Matt Reeves' The Batman is scheduled to come out June 25th, 2021. Now, those dates are next year, so what's the problem? I mean, it's not like anything has to be delayed because all the delays are probably going to happen this year. This is when the sickness is going around. It's not going to, hopefully, bleed into 2021. Well, it's all about the production, right? Because James Gunn's The Suicide Squad has basically done filming. They just have to edit and do VFX, which doesn't need, require people to be close to each other. Social distancing, don't need that. So that movie is essentially done, except for some, you know, editing special effects. It has to be done after the fact, which they should be able to do no problem. But Matt Reeves, The Batman... They aren't done filming that movie yet, and they cannot finish filming it until this whole, like, sickness situation in Hollywood shutdown ends, and who knows when that's going to end. So it's possible that they will not be able to, like, resume filming the Batman and finish it all in time for the movie to meet its original June 25th, 2021 release date. Um, that's not a guarantee, but it's a possibility, you know, the longer they can't work. Whereas, you know, James Gunn's The Suicide Squad... You know, if that's finished this year, they could release at any time in 2021. So why not release the DC movie that's already done, The Suicide Squad, on June 25th, which was the Batman's original release date, and wait to finish filming the Batman and release that in August. You know, the August 6th, 2021 release date. Um, that makes a lot of sense. You know, just switch them. Um, now, depending on how long this lasts, though, August 6th, 2021 might be too soon for the Batman. Um, you know, let's hope that they can finish filming, you know, or start start their filming back up sometime before this year ends. Maybe the fall or the winter? And they could rush? You don't want them to rush too much because you don't want to sacrifice the quality of the movie. It is possible that they could still release that movie in August 2021 if, they are, if they're able to resume and finish filming sometime this year. Hopefully. But, um, you know, that June 25th release date, I don't know. That might not be something that they could realistically stick to anymore. But, um, you know, Suicide Squad's about ready to go. So they could pump that out, you know, as soon as they want to. You know, probably early next year if they wanted to. You know, if Warner Brothers is desperate for content because none of their other movies are able to finish, they have this library of stuff, you know, ready to go, like James Gunn's movie, just pump that out. But what do you think? What do you think about the idea of the Suicide Squad, basically Suicide Squad 2, and the Batman just switching release dates? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.